edit controls or functions palette go to tools menu then go to advanced and then select edit palette set wait for the dialog box to appear so once the edit controls and functions palette set dialog box opens you can go to either the functions palette or the controls palette then right click and from the options you can select whatever you want to do let's go to use the libraries on the functions palette and if we right click an open area then we can insert a sub palette a vi or vi's an empty slot an empty row or a vi option or we can delete the empty slot if we right click an icon then we can in addition to the insert palette options we can move sub palette if it's a sub palette hide synchronize item reserve spot for synchronize items copy the icon edit sub palette icon rename sub palette synchronize with directory display path to palette file edit palette documentation edit short name if it's a single vi then in addition to the insert menu we can move the item delete the item copy its icon place vi contents whether vi is external editor configure when placing vi contents display path to palette file and edit its short name to move an object just drag it to a new place and leave it there when we have made all the changes that we needed to make then go back to the edit control the functions palette set and press save changes the preview palette changes dialog box appears you can press continue to commit the changes or you can press the cancel button to cancel any changes you made in this editing session and close this dialog box if you are on a if you want to edit the palette set for a specific target then you can you would go to still go to the tools advanced and edit palette set but from a vi on the target host palette set you want to modify for example in the fpga or the rt target if you edit the palettes labview saves the edits to the labview menus directory which is located in national instruments and then the labview version you are using and inside it are the menus folder and inside that the palettes are saved labview saves the edits in a copy of the original palette the protection of the original palette ensures that you can experiment with the palettes without corrupting the original palettes to revert to the original palettes while you are inside the labview and you are in edit palette set you have this option restore to default
to edit the visible palette categories on the controls or functions palette we can go to the while the palette is stacked you can go to customize and from there we can select change visible palettes from the shortcut menu which displays the change visible palettes dialog box also we can scroll to the bottom of the palette and at the bottom we would see this link change visible palettes which also la launches the same dialog box and we can change the palettes visible palettes from here also to edit a palette inside a packed project library make changes to the palette and rebuild the packed library to update those changes in the library we can also use move to the block diagram and do a search for palette editing functions and use these to do the same changes but programmatically.